Hey, moms and dads, John Barry here. I hope you guys are doing well today. Thank you for letting me come into your home and visit with your kids for just a little while. Um, if you would, hit the share button real quick and uh, so your friends can join us for the next few minutes while we visit. Um, if you would, today we're going to uh, be reading the story of the Rainbow Fish. And if you happen to have that book, Go grab that little book right now so you guys can read along while we read the story today. That'd be, that'd be pretty awesome. Um, also, if you've got uh, an opportunity today that while we're doing this, if somebody can take pictures of your children that you would love to share with us, we would love to see them. And you can send them to Instagram or Facebook at John Barry Music. And uh, we would be honored to share those. And, but thank you for letting, us, uh, letting me come and spend time with your family. I'm very excited about getting to do this. Let me see here. I got distracted by technical issues. <laughs> well, I tell you what. I forgot where I was at now. <laughs> Uh, I tell you what, let's, uh, let's move along. I tell you, if, you're, if your little ones are here, I'm so glad that you're able to join us today, little cubs. I am thrilled that you're here with me today. And, you know, this is a, a different time than we've ever had. Things are so much different and at home a lot more, and, but you get to spend a lot of fun time with your family, which is really, really cool. And there's some things that you can do that maybe you haven't always gotten to do. Um, Maybe spend time with your folks in the kitchen when your mom's cooking dinner or your dad's cooking dinner. Maybe you could help out with that. And maybe you could set the table and uh, just be a big help and especially learning how to make cookies for dessert. How fun would that be? That'd be pretty doggone awesome. I think I would love that. And um, also, you could make time to get some exercise. That's really important that we have time to exercise and maybe... maybe Go out and go for a walk with your mom or dad. And take your dog for a walk if you have one. And, and get out and play with your brother and sister. Play some basketball or uh, kickball in the yard. Something fun like that. Or maybe if you're by yourself, maybe you could get some chalk and, and do a, a hopscotch on the driveway. And if you've never played hopscotch, it's a lot of fun. And you could get your mom or dad to draw that out for you so you could learn how to play it. It'd be a lot of fun. There's other things that, that are really great that you can do too, it's like indoor games, like playing cards or, or dominoes or pickup sticks. Boy, pickup sticks are always a lot of fun. It's a, it's a little bit of a mess, but it's a lot of fun. And amongst all these things that you do, don't forget to wash your hands. You can't wash your hands too many times. Nice warm water, lots of soap on your hands, and then count to 30. Just rub your hands and get everything nice and clean and then rinse them off, rinse that soap off with that warm water and then get a nice clean towel and dry your hands off. And that would be a great thing to keep everybody nice and hands nice and clean, keeps everybody healthy. One of my favorite things to do during this special time that we're in is read books. I haven't had a lot of time to read books in, since I've become an adult. But I tell you what, I sure have enjoyed getting to do that now. But today, we're going to read a story that maybe you're familiar with. And uh, if you have the book, I hope your folks were able to get that for you. It's the, the, the story of the rainbow fish. All right, can we read that together right now? That'd be awesome, huh? The rainbow fish. <clears throat> a long way out in the deep blue sea, there lived a fish. Not just an ordinary fish, but the most beautiful fish in the entire ocean. His scales were every shade of blue and green and purple, with sparkling silver scales among them. It was a beautiful fish. The other fish were amazed at his beauty. 
They called him Rainbow Fish. Come on, Rainbow Fish, they would call. Come and play with us. But the Rainbow Fish would just glide past, proud and silent, letting his scales shimmer. <laughs> he was very beautiful. One day, a little blue fish followed after him. Rainbow Fish, he called. Wait for me. Please give me one of your shiny scales. They're so wonderful, and you have so many. He does have a lot of shiny scales. You want me to give you one of my special scales? Who do you think you are, cried the rainbow fish. Get away from me. Shocked, the little blue fish swam away. He was so upset. He told all his friends what had happened. From then on, no one would have anything to do with the rainbow fish. They turned away when he swam by. Mm. What good were the dazzling, shimmering scales with no one to admire them? Now he was the loneliest fish in the entire ocean. One day, he poured out his troubles to the starfish. I'm really beautiful. Why doesn't anybody like me? I can't answer that for you, said the starfish. But if you go beyond the coral reef to a deep cave, you will find the wise octopus. Maybe she can help you. The rainbow fish found the cave. It was very dark inside, and he couldn't see anything. Then suddenly, two eyes caught him in their glare, and the octopus emerged from the darkness. That's a big octopus. I've been waiting for you, said the octopus with a deep voice. The waves have told me your story. This is my advice. Give a glittering scale to each of the other fish. You will no longer be the most beautiful fish in the sea, but you will discover how to be happy. All those beautiful scales. I can't, the rainbow fish started to say, but the octopus has already disappeared into a dark cloud of ink. Give away my scales? My beautiful shiny scales? Never. How could I ever be happy without them? Suddenly, he felt the light touch of a fin. The little blue fish was back. Rainbow fish, please don't be angry. I just want one little scale. The rainbow fish wavered. Only one very, very small shimmering scale, he thought. Well, maybe I wouldn't miss just one. And carefully, the rainbow fish pulled out the smallest scale and gave it to the little fish. Thank you, thank you very much, the little blue fish bubbled playfully as he tucked the shiny scale in amongst his blue ones. A rather peculiar feeling came over the rainbow fish. For a long time he watched the little blue fish swim back and forth with his new scale glittering in the water. The little blue fish whizzed through the ocean with his scale flashing. So it didn't take long before the rainbow fish was surrounded by the other fish. Everyone wanted a glittering scale. The rainbow fish shared his scales left and right. The more he gave away, the more delighted he became. When the water around him was filled with glimmering scales, he at last felt at home among the other fish.
Finally, the rainbow fish had only one shining scale left. His most prized possession had been given away, yet he was very happy. Come on, rainbow fish, they called. Come and play with us. Here I come, said the rainbow fish. And happy as a splash, he swam off to join his friends. Look at that. Oh, they each have a shiny scale. And rainbow fish has got one left right up there. And he's got one and one there and one there. Isn't that a good story about sharing? It's always a good thing to share, whatever it might be. I tell you what I'd like to do. I'd like to share a song. That sounds good. Past couple of weeks we've been uh, having a dance party, and I think that'd be quite appropriate. So let's get your dancing shoes on or to, or off. In this case, baby. a good time to get up and move it a little bit. Well, thank you for letting me come into your home and spend a little bit of time with you today, little bears. Y'all are something special, and I hope, uh, hope you have a great week. We're going to be getting together next Sunday, which is Easter, and we'll read a special Easter story, okay? And But thank you for coming and let me be with you. This week, be sure and tell your mom and dad and your brothers and sisters, if you have them, and your grandparents that how much you love them and how much you care about them. Keep those hands nice and clean. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.